According to the neat and merciless laws of physics, the Big Bang should have rolled out matter and antimatter in perfect equal measure, like dance partners arriving in lockstep. For every proton, there should have been an antiproton. For every electron, its shadow twin, the positron. For every atom that might one day become a planet or a person, there should have been its mirror image waiting to cancel it out. And here's the catch. Matter and antimatter don't coexist politely. They are mortal enemies. The instant they meet, they annihilate each other, vanishing into pure energy. Nothing but a bright flash of light. Equal amounts of both mean no survivors. No stars burning in the darkness. No galaxies swirling across space. No Earth. No trees. No coffee mugs. No us. Just a cold, empty universe lit once by a brief, violent glow, and then silence forever. But clearly that's not what happened.